Assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Shaz Khan here. Uh, just wanted to share a quick message with you all. Um, I usually don't do this but I felt a deep sense of uh, an urge to, to share my little story uh, as this coronavirus thing is sort of uh, ramping up and, and getting pretty intense. Um, I just flew in from Pakistan last minute a couple days ago and um, arrived in Los Angeles and even though I have no symptoms, even though I don't feel sick, uh, I'm self-isolating myself from my family. And I wanted to share why I'm doing that. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is a couple weeks ago, I was in Pakistan and at that time, I didn't feel like this disease, how serious it really was. Um, I actually, if anything, I laughed it off to some people that uh, are pretty knowledgeable about this. And in my ignorance, I didn't pay attention. So when things started getting pretty intense, I started doing my own research and uh, listening to experts and listening to people who are very respected in the field. And I realized this is a lot more serious than I thought. And at that moment, I had to make a decision uh, as to how I would handle this and how I would change my behavior uh, as a result of my ignorance. And I just asked you, okay, in the end, it's not about me. I'll be okay. You know, I, I'm luckily pretty healthy overall and you know exercise and eat right and all that stuff but besides that it i i need to make sure that this thing doesn't get out of control for the people that are the most vulnerable so you know this self-isolation is it's not just for me it's this um inherent social contract that you know i feel like is has been around throughout the centuries amongst mankind you know we go to war we kill each other and all that but in the end when it comes down to it uh we actually stand up for each other and you look look at what's happening right now with all the governments shutting everything down everyone is willingly staying at home um, it may be for selfish reasons because they don't want to get the uh, virus but it could also be because they actually care about those small few people that are actually vulnerable and who can get affected and that's pretty inspiring and that's why I would urge you I'm urging my Amiya Boo um, all your parents to at this point really show caution uh, for our elderly and for our children as well, even though it seems like there is not much evidence uh, that shows whether they're going to get infected, we never know. So uh, I wanted to share my story. Uh, you know, we draw strength from each other in these uh, in these tough times, and I know we'll get through this. Uh, and I know it's gonna it's gonna make us stronger. And at the same time, we just have to uh, show caution. So it's gonna suck because I can't see my baby boy for the next two weeks um, and all I want to do is hold and play with them and kiss them but uh, it's necessary and I hope you'll do what's necessary as well